The movie, of course, Beautiful Day in the Neighborhood, Tom, is obviously Fred Rogers, but the story is central to your relation, your character's relationship, a, a strange relationship with his father. Yeah. And it, Mr. Rogers sort of transforms you? Absolutely, you yeah. absolutely. And based, based on a tr true story. Um, this actually happened, yeah, right? Yeah. yeah, based on a, a, an Esquire journalist who was sent to interview Fred Rogers back in 97, 98. Uh, and... and Self-admittedly, would say you know he was always looking for where you know the possible darkness lay or you know the chink in the armor. And Fred Rogers turned his life around and and, and rebirthed him in a way. And it, you were not as aware, maybe, as as people if, that grew up with with Mr. Rogers' neighborhood. Right? I was, and, I wasn't. I think you know I'm sa sadder for it, you know. But, but I think we're a poorer nation for not having Fred Rogers. But unfortunately, <laughs> didn't make it across the Atlantic. So <laughs> the, fir the first time, uh, you know, the, the script came to me, and I, I said to Carrie, I was like, "Who who's Fred Rogers?" And she was like, oh! "How could you not know who Fred Rogers is?" Yeah. <laughs> Get out! <laughs> but, but unbeknown to me, you know, she said Fred Rogers is in our living room because our two and a half year old was watching Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood. And Daniel Tiger's Neighborhood is, of course, the offshoot of yeah, Mr. Rogers. Yeah, yeah, part of his legacy. The kind of he was true ground a groundbreaker, a pioneer of his time. When when he saw television kind of going, you know, a little too slapstick and frenetic for children. Mm. He, he deliberately, very meticulously slowed down the pace of his speech of not cutting away to different cameras, single cameras, so that children of a certain age could listen and process and feel they were being heard. It happened, you know, I turned, I turned Sam, my three-year-old, in, into my Mr. Mm -hmm. Ridge's guinea pig, and I put him in front of the show, and the first thing he said was, he's talking to me. And it was... It that was, immediate Yeah, connection. it was revel revelatory. And that scene shows it, that there was no delineation between who he was and who Mr. Rogers was. No, I, and also no delineation in who he spoke to. He'd speak no. to a three-year-old the same way the an same adult. The same as a 23-year-old yeah, or a 43-year-old. Yes, absolutely. Right. You know, I, I find it so fascinating that he was progressive so far before his time. You know, mm. he was a person who was uh, protecting all of the unprotected groups of people yes. way before, yes. you know, Elizabeth yep. Warren was out of doing it and course. Bernie Sanders and all the people that are are bringing that progressive movement back now. That's what, who he was. And his, his great word, his great words were inclusion, and there is no them, there's only us. There's only us. So you have to work, you have to work as, to, as to how you get on with each other. Did you watch the documentary on him? Very much so, oh. much my neighbor, my neighbor, yeah. If you haven't seen this, that's also an amazing film. Yeah. And, and they're both very different. Yes, yeah. very much so, and, but equally as emotional. It was, yeah. it was a great introduction to me as to who, who Fred Rogers was and what he did. And, I think, I think as, a, as a movie, was, we're lucky that we've had that kind of stepping stone ahead of us. This film, uh, all of the performances are just remarkable. What was your process like in preparing for the movie? And you have such a beautiful relationship with Tom's character in, in the film. Yes. You guys are so close. We are. And I, I was very interested to meet Tom Juno, the, the, the journalist this is based on, and mm. he was very inclusive, and he came and... Oh, so that was really helpful. Yeah, and I talked at length. I was like, what was this, this period of time in your life when you met Fred Rogers? And they became the greatest of friends, mm -hmm. consequently. Um, and, you know, I think the, the casting of Tom Hanks as Fred Rogers, I've, sa I've said before, you know... Uh, it's eerie. It, it, it is. Eerie. But, but you can, couldn't, couldn't have been better, the kind That's of... Right. It's they want almost one of the same entity. I've said, you know, America's dad is playing America's dad. It's such a... It's just such a... Yeah. A sensitive... Person. Yeah. I, and I, I know I've said this before, before the, 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 you know, in the shorthand, when you say, I said I've done a Fred Rogers movie, and people go, ah, oh, and, and they say, who's playing Fred Rogers? And you say, Tom Hanks, and they go, ah. Oh. So course. it's like, <laughs> it, it, Rogers and Hanks, they elicit the same noise from people. You know, they do. The, the, the affection. That trust and deep affection yes, yeah. and intimacy. Yeah. You just feel so safe. Safe. With, yeah, mm -hmm. you, when, on, when Hanks comes on set or on screen, you always go, oh, we're okay now. Tom Hanks is here. You guys are like a, like a team now between the post and this. Are you going to do every project I, with him? I told him <laughs> we will be. He wasn't so sure about it. I was like, you let me know, Tom, next. Movie, the next I'll movie, be there. And you, I'll show up. you and me.